If you had the chance to give back, would you? I gave back to my old high school, and it was a wonderful and fun experience. You should listen because I have completed over 11 hours of service to my old high school, Wilbur D. Mills University Studies High School, and you may not know how easy, notice how easy it is to give back. My name is Thomas Samelka, and I gave back to my old high school. This speech will talk about my service learning experience. The main topics are my service story, my communication analysis of the story, and my analysis of communication recommendations for myself with civil and ethical implications. I completed my service at Mills High School with the school's Drama and Forensics Department. The mission statement of my organization, given to me by the school since there was no online source, is, the, is, the, is to provide opportunities for all students to achieve their maximum, poten maximum educational potential in literacy, math, and all other curriculum areas and become lifelong learners who are able to adapt to the ever-changing technological society of the 21st century. Some of the tasks I handled were watching the class, previewing and commenting on competition pieces, helping to edit the music for the musical, and supporting the students in all of their endeavors, both in class and in competition. Now, one of the things I did to support the mission was helping the students with their competition pieces. Um, this is something that is very common this time of year. This time of year is when we have state, and we also have the musical, actually, it's this week. So, that's a lot of fun. Um, second thing I did really was I ran a lot of errands for Miss Qualls. That way some of the students didn't have to and they could work on their pieces for competition. Now that I have told you my story, let's move on to my analysis of the story. There are two communication concepts and communication principles that are connected and a communication principle that is connected to my story. The first communication concept is reframing. The definition according to Lane, Abigail, and Gooch, 2014, is engaging in perspective taking that redefines opposing dialects as no longer threatening to the relationship. One of the things that I had to do was reframe myself into the mindset of a judge. And that, surprisingly, that's not very easy because you have to be critical about everything to make it as beneficial as possible in that situation. Um, the second communication concept is connotative meaning. A definition, according to Lane, Abigail, and Gooch, 2014, is meaning that is emotional and personal and that endangers disagreement. Again, I'm going to refer back to uh, giving feedback on competition pieces. This is something that, for maximum efficiency, you want multiple perspectives on. Because I might think someone's too quiet, but one of you might think that they need to be a little louder, or a little quieter. Sorry, messed that up. And Disagreement is not a bad thing in communication, especially when it comes to something like tournaments. The more you disagree, the better a piece can be. The relevant communication principle is the meaning of a message is influenced by interpretation. The definition, according to the UALR Department of Applied Communication Survival Guide 2016, is communicators generate meaning. Communicators are unique, therefore meaning is unique. Communicators generate interpretations, and interpretations are unique. What I think I mean 
is unique to me. Now, I'm going to change that meaning just a little bit as it refers to tournament pieces. Because with a drama team, you can interpret stuff on a different level than a normal communication setup. You have the power through your actions and through the actions of those performing with you to change the meaning of a piece. Um, what? Sorry. Just keep going. You're fine. The slides got messed up. That's okay. They were right. They were in the proper order yesterday. Um. Now, on to my recommendations and communication implications. Based on my service experience, I can use communication concepts to improve, and civil and ethical implications, to improve my communication and help my community. The communication concept I could use to improve my communication would be relational feedback. Now, on terms of the musical, this is something I did three times as a Mills Drama student. It's supposed to be fun, it broadens the musical horizons of the students, and it can be very tiring. Um, it is defined by Lane, Abigail, and Gooch, 2014 is a speaker confirming response that involves a brief description of a situation that parallels the speaker's and points to a connection between the speaker's experience and your own. Now, it's fun, it's energetic, you're all over the place. That's the musical, that's what it's intended to do, it helps support the endeavors of the students in multiple ways. For one, it's fun. You get to show your family, if they show up, just what you've been doing, what you're capable of doing after three months of practice. Three months is not a long time. And the, music cha the musical changes so many points of view. And I can help my community by giving better relational feedback. It was something while I was at Mills I feel I did horrible with. A civical or ethical implication I could use to improve my community would be caring with grace. This is defined in the UALR Department of Applied Communication Survival Guide 2016 as understanding and meeting the needs of the people we interact with. I chose this implication based on my service experiences because I'm working with high school students. They are gonna need my attention a little bit more than grown adults, where grown adults can deal with everything a lot better than they can. They're still dealing with a lot of their teenage anxieties and sometimes you need a little bit of help with that. Um, one of my main tasks was helping them for practice with the musical and preparing for competitions that they have been preparing for all year. And taking a year is a short time in our life, but that's a lot of stress that builds up. And it, it's not that it's impossible to deal with, but at those younger ages, we don't quite understand how to manage stress. I can continue to use this implication to, pr it, to improve my communication by helping my community around me, not always at Mills, but in other places that might need my help. 
that uh, it's about everything with my sir, with my uh, implications. My name is Thomas Samelka. This speech was about my service learning experience. The main topics of my service story are my communication analysis of the story, my communication recommendations with implications, and my service story. Although I gave back to a very specific place, helping out your community could be as simple as taking the older lady across the street to the store. Yeah. Thank you.